Okay, so once you've then pushed it into this bay here, you've now got the next exercise, the slalom and the figure of eight. Okay, so it's two exercises combined. Um, secret to this is what we've been practicing earlier, is the clutch control, throttle control, and looking where you want to go. So all these things are into it, okay? Um, what you don't want to do is look at cones. If you look at a cone, you're going to hit it. Remember target fixation. We want to look in between them. That's where you want to go. That's where the bike goes, okay? But it's also important at the end of it is to give yourself a bit of room to do the figure of eight. If the bike goes to full lock, I can guarantee your foot's going to go down. So you need to use space on it, okay? So use space, but not too much. We don't want to go the other side of the training ground at the test centre. So, but the room we've got here is perfect for it. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate it for you and get you to do it. But there's a cow there giving birth. Sounds like it. <laughs> the wonders are living in the countryside. Um, so, nice and wide is the key to it. Turn your head, look where you want to go. Right. So, give you a demonstration of it. So shell checks first, left and right, move away. Speed wise for this, four to five mile an hour. As you can see, I'm not using the rear brake. Don't need to, I've got good clutch and throttle control. You may need to use it, remember, a little bit. It's a little bit of a comfort blanket, but not as a crutch. Once I get here, I'm gonna start turning. Add a little bit of speed to it. Looking where I wanna go. Turning the bike, going wide again. And wide, so I'm inside the yellow cone here as well. You can go outside if you want to, but not too far. I'm going a meter inside this one as I turn. And then, same place again, that meter inside this one and then a meter inside that one, but I'm making sure I've got loads of room. Relaxed, my arms are relaxed, I'm looking where I want to go. I'm not at all stressed by it. And the exam asks you to do two of these. Once you've done two, we'll call you over, ready for the next exercise. Now what we don't want to do is do tight, so we start going tight, look. It makes it doubly hard to get around here, so to balance the bike, I've got to really counterbalance it by pushing my weight across to the left there. If I go tight again here, I've got really a lot of counterbalancing to do. Definitely have to use a rear brake if we're going tighter on turns. So if I'm going tighter, I've got to use a little bit of rear brake. You know what we're doing this way? That's full lock now. That's a lot harder. So all I'm going to do is use that width. So I mentioned earlier about using the rear brake when you're turning. Right, if you've got loads of room and it's flat, on a bike like this I don't really need to use the rear brake. But if I make it tighter, then I do need the rear brake. I need to slot the bike down a bit. Just got the back end so I can get tighter turning look. So if I use the rear brake here, I can do quite tight turns. I can't do that without the rear brake. So the rear brake is on here. Well again, it's not on a lot, but it's enough to keep the bike stable. That's harder work, why would you make it hard for yourself? There's no need, is there? Okay, shoulder checks. Just go a little bit quicker, you'll be losing your balance there. Just nip in between them, okay? You're going too wide there, it's going to get worse and worse, as you can see. Nip in between them. Don't go wide yet. Now you can go wide. Going too slow. You put your foot down. Okay, we're well, about five or six mile an hour doing this. Not too bad.
It's good. Okay, back to the bottom then. Okay, mate. You'll go, sir. Good. Okay, back to the bottom, mate. <laughs>